Good morning and welcome to ELEC 1. Today, we will be conducting our pre-membership orientation seminar. So as one of the ACs in the whole Philippines, we have our first AC law. Thou shall protect and promote the rights and interests of all co-op members with your whole heart in absolute honesty, maximum efficiency, and total solidarity. Our ELEC 1 vision. The premier electric cooperative and service provider in the region by 2027. And our co-op mission to provide quality, reliable, cost-effective electric service to our member consumer owners for a progressive community. To apply for membership to ELEC 1, the following are the types of membership. First, single membership. Second, joint membership. Joint membership is applicable for those who are legally married. Third, juridical membership. Juridical membership is applicable for those who are applying under a company, firm, association, corporation, any public or government entity applying for connection to elect one. To proceed, when you are a member of ELEC 1, so you can already apply for your electric connection. So once you are a member, you can apply to be a consumer. So first and foremost thing that you should be familiar of when you are a consumer of ELEC 1 is on how electricity reaches your home. So our cooperative, we are a distributive utility. So direct from our power suppliers, power is generated. From the generation, so transmitted through the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines or the NGCP to supply ELEC-1 substation. And from ELEC-1 substation, power is distributed to our member consumer owners. Under our Magna Carta for Residential Electricity Consumers, the following are your rights as member and consumer owner of our cooperative. First, your right to electric service. So a consumer has the right to be connected to a distribution utility for electric service after the consumer's full compliance with the DU or the distributive utility and the local government unit or LGU requirements. Please take note, your documents from the local government unit should be completed before you apply to ELEC-1 for your service connection. Next, your right to a refund of your bill deposit. So the bill deposit shall be refunded one month from the termination of service provided that all bills have been paid. So again, please take note, if we say termination of service, you will be voluntarily requesting for your connection to be disconnected and voluntarily surrender your kilowatt hour meter to elect one main office, Tigbawan. Another, a customer who has paid these electric bills on or before its due date for three consecutive years, may however demand for the full refund of your bill guarantee deposit even prior to the termination of service. So within 36 months, completely paying your power bills on time, on or before its due date, you are entitled to the full refund of your bill guarantee deposit even your connection is still active. Next, your right to exemption from payment to meter deposit. All consumers shall be exempted from payment to meter deposits. In case of loss or damage meter due to the fault of the customer, he shall bear the replacement of the cost of the meter. So again, please take note, all applicants to be a member and consumer owner are issued by a free kilowatt hour meter meaning your meter or the unit is issued 
without payment. The same is true, the service contractor who will install your kilowatt hour meter. Next, you're right to an accurate electric watt hour meter. All watt hour meters, regardless of make and type, before being placed in service, it must be adjusted as close as possible to condition of zero error. Next, right to a properly installed meter. So the customer has the right to a meter installed in a clean place, free of vibration, and where it will be easily accessible and visible, both for reading and testing by the DU and the consumer. So all kilowatt hour meters issued and installed by ELEC 1 are installed to the nearest ELEC 1 pole. Next, your right to a refund of overbilling. The customer has the right to a refund in cases of overbilling by the distribution utility arising from a meter testing showing that the said meter was fast without any evidence of tampering. Right to tender payment at the point of disconnection. So if at the time of disconnection is to be made, the customer tenders payment of the unpaid bill to the agent or employee of the DU who is to effect the disconnection, the said agent or employee shall desist from disconnecting the service and allow the customer to pay his bills within 24 hours. So our reading period for every billing month Within 28 to 30 days, we are conducting actual reading to your kilowatt hour meter. 10 days on or before the due date, we are distributing your statement of account. So, pag nag ang bill, one day after the due date, you have to post a penalty of 16 pesos and 80 centavos. Two days onwards, 33 pesos and 60 centavos. And if you will be disconnected on the third day after the due date of your power bill, you have to pay for the reconnection fee of 78 pesos and 40 centavos. Our accredited payment centers, so our accredited payment centers are receiving payments to our power bills if you have only your current billing. So at any branch of SMCT bills payment and save more, buy at center, easy pay, Sebuana Luillier, Palawan Pwn Shop, Metro Bank, Queen Bank, RCBC, and First Consolidated Ba. So you can tender payment of your current unpaid power bills. Next, your right to emitter testing by the DU and ERC. A customer has the right to require the DU to test once and every two years free of charge the accuracy of the meter installed in his premises. Next, your right to a prompt investigation on complaints. So distribution utilities shall record and promptly investigate all complaints referred to them concerning their services. Next, your right to information. So we have two types of power interruption, scheduled and unscheduled power interruption. For scheduled interruption, at least two days before the scheduled interruption, a DU must announce the same to its customers through a print or other mass or interactive media. So via press release through Bombo Radio, RMN, Santa Barbara Ugyon, and Action Radio, we are posting our notice of press release. The same is true through the official Facebook account and page of ELEC 1, we are posting the notices of power interruption. During board of directors election and annual general membership meeting, so the same is notified to our member consumer owners. Next, your right to a transparent billing. So bills to service customers shall conform with the format approved by ERC. Right to a monthly electric bill. Bills shall be delivered monthly to the customer by the DU in accordance with the applicable rate approved by the Energy Regulatory Commission. Next, right to e-notice prior to disconnection. For disconnections due to non-payment to electric bills, a written notice must have been served to the customer 48 hours before such disconnection. 
right to a due process prior to disconnection. No consumer shall be deprived of electric service without due process of law. The disconnection of electric service shall only be made under the following circumstances. First, non-payment to your electric bills within the period of time provided in Article 32 of Magna Carta. Second, illegal use of electricity under Republic Act 7832. So one concrete example, your account has been disconnected. You haven't paid your power bills and someone connected your account. Upon lawful orders of the government agencies or any other courts. And when the public safety so requires. So another example, when your service drop line, the wire connected from your service entrance to the nearest pole where your meter is located causes obstruction to your neighboring households. So for public safety, we have the reason to disconnect your connection if it is not compliant with the requirement. Next, your right to suspension of disconnection. Disconnection of electric service shall not be made on any weekday beyond 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Saturdays, Sundays, and official holidays. Also, when one of the permanent occupants is sick and dependent on a life support system requiring electricity, this should not exceed two months. During the funeral wake of a deceased permanent resident of the premises, but not exceeding one month. Right to a reconnection of electric service. So whenever the electric service is disconnected due to non-payment to electric bills, the utility must immediately reconnect not to exceed 24 hours or one day. It may be extended only for justifiable reasons. To proceed, under our Magna Carta for residential electricity consumers, the following are your obligations as member and consumer owner of our cooperative. First, obligation to pay your bill deposit. Second, obligation to allow inspection, installation, and removal of electricity apparatus. Obligation to allow construction of poles, lines, and circuits. Obligation to receive monthly bills and pay monthly bills on time. Obligation to pay billing adjustments. Obligation not to commit illegal use of electricity. And obligation to pay differential billing. So under our obligation not to commit illegal use of electricity, we have our co-op policy for the penalties. First offense a penalty of 4,000, second, 8,000, third offense, 12,000 plus affidavit of commitment not to commit illegal connection, and fourth offense, automatic account termination. And under our Republic Act 7832 or the anti pilferage Apprehension Law, it is punishable by law. Our relevant fees and charges for the application. So the following are your standard fees. Application fee, 300 pesos. Membership fee, 5 pesos. And your kilowatt hour meter base, 280 pesos. For the registration, for every lighting outlet, 20 pesos. For every convenience outlet, 20 pesos. And for every branch circuit, 30 pesos for your service drop wire so the wire connecting your meter to your service entrance with a specification of aluminum conductor steel reinforced cable or acsr number six and all aluminum conductors or aac number six the price per meter per pair 34 pesos and 32 centavos for the labor of our inspector and accredited barangay electricians 500 pesos maximum of 50 meters service drop wire from your service entrance to elect one pole please note that your service drop installation and wire house wiring materials that includes convenience outlets lighting outlets 
and circuit breaker branches. Labor and expense, and including maintenance, is shouldered by our member consumer owners. For the list of requirements that you will be complying to apply for connection, so first, we have to comply local government unit requirements. For those who are applying inside subdivision, so these requirements must be secured from the office of your homeowners or office of the subdivision. Your electrical plan and building permit for concrete structures, electrical layout for mixed light indigenous materials from the office of the building official, Certificate of Final Electrical Inspection slash Completion, Electrical Permit with Official Receipt, Certificate of Occupancy for Completed Structure, and Temporary Permit for Service Connection for those under construction. Last, your Fire Safety Inspection Certificate that must be secured from the Office of the Bureau of Fire and Protection. For ELECO 1 requirements, so first, your attendance to this pre-membership orientation seminar. If you are a representative, so you have to provide your proof of authority. You should secure special power of attorney or notarized authorization letter. Photocopy of valid ID of the representative with three specimen signatures that shall be valid for a period of six months from the date that your attendance to the seminar was issued. Authorized representative must be of nearest kin of the applicant. If the applicant is single, we require photocopy of your senomar or photocopy of your birth certificate. Next, photocopy of your valid IDs with three specimen signatures and latest two by two ID picture. If the applicant is married, so photocopy of your marriage contract, photocopy of your valid IDs with three specimen signatures, and latest two by two ID picture. For those who are widow or widower, we require photocopy of the death certificate of your spouse. For the proof of ownership, so, if you are the owner of the property, we require any of this or the following documents. Photocopy of your latest land title, deed of absolute or conditional sale, contract to sell, latest tax declaration, latest tax receipt or deed of donation or assumption. For successors, so we require proof of succession or affidavit of heirship with consent or permit to occupy. Notarized affidavit of consent or permit to occupy. Photocopy of the valid ID of the owner with three specimen signature of the lot owner or successor, the living heir of the property. If tenants of a privately owned premises, we require lease contract or any notarized authorization showing your rights to occupy. For informal settlers of a government-owned property, we require notarized document with your rights to occupy. For your application form, so we will be distributing set of application form. The set of forms should be duly filled up and signed as you apply for your connection. Your application for service connection, application for membership, and your electric service contract, that should be notarized. Please take note, your electric service contract requires at least two witnesses of your nearest kin or uh, persons who can witness that you are the one who signed your electric service contract. Last, how to process your application for connection. So first, completed local government unit or Office of the Developer's Requirements. Completed ELECO 1 requirements. Submission to ELECO 1 Main Office, Tigbawan, for screening. And after approval, we will be requiring you that your electric service contract must be notarized. And after notarization, payment of your relevant fees and 
charges. Issuance of your kilowatt or meter in three weeks after your payment. Please take note, application forms are valid within six months from the date you have attended the Prime Membership Orientation Seminar. For those who are applying inside subdivision, please make sure you have sent us the copy of your inspection report after your service drop wire has been installed. So you can send it through the email given to you by the Windows 7 as you paid your application for connection. ELECO 1 offices contact numbers are displayed on your screen. So for ELECO 1 main office, we have our customer care hotline number. If you have concerns, questions, clarifications regarding the pre-membership orientation seminar, feel free to call or text ELECO 1 hotline numbers and you can address your concerns to the consumer welfare desk officers. You can look for Fatimi Bandorio or Miss Michelle Vaughn Beran. This ends our pre-membership orientation seminar. So again, thank you very much for your time and welcome to ELECO 1 to apply for your membership and connection.